So now we want to look at the domain of this composite function, right? And the bottom line is, first of all, you can just kind of sample numbers. Okay? When I asked the class, give me a number that won't work here, somebody immediately said one, right? Because one squared minus four is negative three, you can't do the square root of negative three. Can't use zero, because you'd get the square root of negative four, okay? Then it took a little while to get another one, but uh, someone came up with, oh, uh, yeah, negative one doesn't work either, does it? Okay? Negative one squared, okay, is going to be one, you're going to get a negative three. Any other integers? Well, there aren't any other integers. The next integer going in the negatives is negative two, right? But negative two works just fine. That gives you zero, but that's, well, you can take the square root of zero, right? And positive two, well, it's going to give you zero. Any number bigger than two is going to have a square that's bigger than four. Any number less than negative two is going to give you a square that's bigger than four, right? So, you've got to exclude the integers, negative 1, 0, and 1, okay? Any other integer is okay. Think about it. In other words, what other integers are there? Why are they all okay? But the bottom line is, the domain is negative infinity to union to infinity, right? And the range of k of x is zero to infinity. Okay, for the same reason. The range of the square root function is zero to infinity. Okay? Because the numbers in your domain give you square roots of everything from zero on up. Okay?